Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Glory. Hallelujah. Blessings to you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. It's Freedom Friday. Come on, give the Lord some praise. It's Freedom Friday. Yes, Freedom Friday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, it's Freedom Friday. Y'all bear with me for a minute here. Y'all know we got to share. I got to share, share, and share again. <laughs> Somebody shout, it's a new season for me. Yes, God, it's a new season. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody shout, it's a new season. It's a new day. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, it's Freedom Friday, y'all. Hallelujah. As you all are coming in, take the time to share. Invite someone. Amen. If you see me looking here at YouTube, we got Facebook and we got Instagram Live. Yes. How y'all doing today? Hallelujah. Freedom Friday. Hallelujah. Freedom Friday. Freedom Friday. Freedom Friday. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody shout, it's a new season. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessings to you, Sister Johanna. God bless you. This beautiful morning. Yes. Beautiful day. Hallelujah, that the Lord has allowed us to see. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you, Sister Kamaya. Amen. Blessings to you, Sister Lenoa. It's a new season. Come on, somebody shout, it's a new season. If you believe it, shout it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, God. I do not own the rights to this music, Facebook. So don't y'all flag my video. <laughs> All right. Yes, somebody's about to be free today. Hallelujah. Somebody's about to get set free today. Hallelujah. I feel God moving already. Hallelujah. Take the time to share and invite someone. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes, God. Somebody need to give God praise. Yes, God. Somebody shout, it's a new season. <laughs> hey, we done already crossed over, y'all. You know we done already crossed over, right? Y'all know we done already crossed over. The shift has already taken place. Come on. Hallelujah. And God told me to come on today. Because some of you, you got to get on board. Come on. You got to get on board. Hallelujah. Come on, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Come on. Hallelujah. You got to get on board. Yeah. Some of you, listen. God said the train, listen, is still at the dock. <laughs> Come on, the train is still at the dock, waiting for some of you. Hallelujah, come on, come on. I got your mail today, I got your mail, I got your mail. I got your message, I got your mail today. Hallelujah, take the time to share, all right? Invite about three people into the broadcast. Come on, tag a few names. Yeah, all is not lost. Hallelujah, God said the train didn't leave yet. Come on. Hallelujah. God says, listen. He says, I will come back for the one. I'll leave the 99 <laughs> and come back for that one person. Listen, it's one person that's on today. God said, listen, this word is for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This word is for you. You're not going to be lost. 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 <laughs> Somebody shout, God is so good. He's so good. Ah, God is so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Take the time to share and invite. Amen. I didn't get a chance to share in our ministry group. So if somebody was sharing our ministry group, if somebody can share in our Women of Virtue uh, ministry group, prophetic group. All right. Go ahead and share in the Women of Virtue group. If somebody can share in Prophetic Impact Ministries, all capital letters. 
Somebody take the time to share there. All right. I didn't get a chance because Facebook just picked me off. Yes, guys. Somebody shot. I'm coming out. Yes, Lord. Somebody shot. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Come on. I'm coming out. Hallelujah. There are some declarations you got to make. There's some things you got to say out of your mouth if you believe it. If you believe it now. Hallelujah. If you trust God and you believe it, he's going to do it for you. Amen. Somebody shout, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I got to come out. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, take the time to share, invite someone. Yes, it's Freedom Friday, you all. Hallelujah. And how many of you know, amen, Freedom Friday, glory to God. The Lord gave me that, amen. God gave me Freedom Friday. Yes, yes, yes. To bless um, his people. Amen. Glory to God. To come forth with a right now word. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, it's a new season. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout, it's a new season. Hallelujah. Coming to me. Yes, you got to make it personal. Come on, make it personal. Make it personal today. Hallelujah. It's Freedom Friday. Come on, Freedom Friday. Some of you about to get free. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. See, it's nothing like being in bondage. Amen. It's nothing like being in bondage. And, you know, it's no fun being in bondage also. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen, it's nothing like being in bondage. And you know you're in bondage. Right? And you know that your present state, your present situation has you captive. Right? Right? It is nothing like that, you know, and, and a lot of times people are in bondage and they don't know how to get out. Amen. They're in bondage and they have no idea how to get out of bondage. Amen. But God says for me to tell you today, he said, tell my people that you're going from being captive. You're going from being in bondage to now complete freedom mm -hmm. to complete freedom. And God says not only freedom, but many of you are about to receive double. Oh, that's good right there. That's good. That's good. That's good. Somebody shout, I'm about to receive double. Not only am I coming out of bondage, hallelujah, I'm about to receive double. Come on. <laughs> hallelujah. It's some of you. Y'all got to excuse my grand dog. <laughs> She's so loud. <laughs> Listen, there are some of you, yeah, that are about to receive um, double. Hallelujah. Because of your faithfulness. Amen. Because of your faithfulness to God. Now, let me just say this. I got to be very honest. I have to be very, very honest. Um, many, many people are not faithful to God. Let me just turn this music down because, listen, I'm dealing with souls right here. So I don't come on Facebook Live to play around. I don't come on Facebook Live. I don't come on Instagram and YouTube just to make you feel good. Hallelujah. Because the word that comes from this ministry, listen, it is real, it is true, and it is God. Hallelujah. And a lot of times, many people don't receive because they're not obedient. So let me just make this declaration. Hallelujah. Let me just clarify all across the board. If you don't pay your tithes, tithes rather, if you don't pay your tithes and give your offering to God, you won't receive nothing. Okay, let's just clarify that before you get all hype and excited. <laughs> you don't sow seed into the kingdom of God. You're not faithful with your finances. You're disobedient to his word. Come on. Hallelujah. I lost about five people right there. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. See, because I'm not here to tickle your fancy. I'm not here to tickle your ear. Amen. I'm a true prophet. Hallelujah. So, so I'm not here to make you feel and get all excited. You can go on another live for that. You can connect to another prophet for that. Listen, listen, they can sell you dreams. They can sell you all kinds of stuff. You know, you can get all excited and hype, you know, about the word that's coming forth. But if you're not faithful to God, 
I know. I lost about five of y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. Don't get mad. Don't get offended. Don't get upset. Hallelujah. Because see, Job, and we're about to talk about it in a minute. See, Job lost a lot of things, but Job was faithful to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, 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 in the midst of Job, hallelujah, losing everything, he didn't curse God. And there are some of you that are literally cursing God. You're cursing God because you're not being obedient. Ah, oh, help me, Holy Ghost, to that. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you today, God. Mm. Hallelujah. God is Shatanda Baha. Lord, as you are coming into this Facebook live by your spirit, by your power, Lord, we take the time to repent in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, as I release your word to your people, even now, Father, I just pray, God, that the hearts, hallelujah, will be receptive, that the ears will be open to your word, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, those that you have chosen, those that you have called for such a time as this, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pull them out of every form of bondage in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Pull them out of captivity today in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, God. Help us to repent, Father. Hallelujah. Help us to turn from our evil, wicked ways, God. Help us to turn even from our, our wrongful mindset in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Help your people today, God, to see that there is freedom in front of them. Hallelujah. That God, you don't want them to be in bondage any longer but God you have come to set the captive free in the mighty name of Jesus so God we thank you for this word, God. Hallelujah. Let it be quick. Hallelujah. Let it be a sharp word today. Hallelujah. Let it compel your people to come back to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let this word not just be another word. Hallelujah. But let this word bring about a change in your people's life. Even those that might be at work, God. Hallelujah. Those that might be busy right now. Oh, God, help them to receive the word in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. And we thank you for those that are watching live. We thank you for those that are going to watch the replay, Father. Holy Spirit, have thy way in this atmosphere today. Oh, God, compel the hearts of your people to come back to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, yes, God. And we thank you now, hallelujah, that the captive are going to be set free. We thank you now, God. There shall be no more bondage. In the name of Jesus, for this is a day of freedom. Hallelujah. And God, hey, anamaseke. Hallelujah. God, you said whom the Son sets free. Hallelujah is free indeed. So Lord, break every shackle, break every chain, deliver your people once again in Jesus mighty name. And father, we thank you for it now. Mm. Hallelujah. We praise you for it now. And we thank you for your release in this atmosphere in Jesus mighty name. Somebody shout amen and amen. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen means, and it is so. Hallelujah. And it is so. Let me just take my time today. Because I'm not going to rush this word. Hallelujah. L let me just take my time. Amen. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, take your time. L let me just break something down for some of you. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I know we're in a time right now where everybody wants everything quick. Everybody wants everything microwave. But what you got to understand about God, hallelujah, it takes the process. And you have to learn to go through your process. Whatever your process is, hallelujah, go through your process. And a lot of times people don't want to go through their process. Y'all not going to talk back to me, but I'm going to keep on talking. A lot of times people don't want to go through the process. Hallelujah. They know what it means to be obedient, but they don't want to go through they don't, they don't want to be obedient. Hallelujah. People don't want to die to their flesh. Glory to God. So I'm not the prophet that's going to spoon feed you today. It's either you're going to see the steak and potatoes in front of you and you're going to get your own fork and you're going to get your own knife. Hallelujah. And you're going to cut that steak as I'm feeding you the word. Hallelujah. See now, ha, glory. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Now is the time for people, the people of God, for the church, hallelujah, to get to a mature place because where the Father desires to take us, hallelujah, is a great place in Him. And guess what? You can't be eating crumbs talking about you in God's presence. You can't give God crumbs. Hallelujah. Talking about you want the abundance. Hey, hallelujah. You got to stop tipping God. See, some of y'all tip God. 
like you're doing something, but you'll go to the buffet and you'll spend all your money. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Some of you tip God and give God crumbs and you saying, where's my abundance? He says your abundance is going to come when you learn to be obedient. Y'all not going to talk back to me today. Hey, that's how you get free in your mindset. See, see, we get free in our mindset. <laughs> Hallelujah. When your mindset changes, help me, Holy Ghost, today. When your mindset changes, guess what happens? Everything around you changes. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. See, it takes the right mindset. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to, hey, and I must say, okay, to receive the manifold blessings from God. See, everybody wants his blessings, but the truth of the matter is you're not ready. Hallelujah. God says, I'm equipping my people. I'm equipping my body. But it starts with your mindset. I know. I just lost about five of y'all right there. Because you got excited real quick. You got real excited. But then you said, wait a minute. I, I, I'm really not being obedient to God. So guess what? This is a day for you to start being obedient. Come on. See, this is the day where your mindset changes. Hey. Hallelujah. This is the day, glory to God, that you make up in your mind to say, you know what? I know what it takes to be blessed. I've been blessed before. Hallelujah. I know what it's going to take now. Hallelujah. For my family to come out of bondage. Glory to God. I know what it takes because I've been there before. But God says, just like you've been there before. Hallelujah. You got to do it again the same exact way. The Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He doesn't change, but we do. Ha, ah, glory to God. Somebody shout, God doesn't change. Hallelujah. See, God doesn't change. His word doesn't change. Hallelujah. But we change all the time. And sometimes God got to bring us back, hey, to what's called reality. Sometimes we got to lose some stuff. Come on, ask Job. He lost a whole lot of stuff. Come on, in order for you to be restored, you got to lose some things. Hallelujah. So this word today is only for those that really want to change. Hallelujah. Listen, it's people on live right now. You can go, you can leave this broadcast and go all up and down your Facebook. And guess what? Up and down Instagram, you'll see a whole bunch of people going live. But see this live right here. Hey, hallelujah. This ministry, hallelujah, is producing those that want to change in their life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, I'm not going to be here forever, saints. Hallelujah. Y'all not going to talk back to me. I'm not going to be here forever. Hallelujah. And God was even dealing with me. Amen. He said, even as a, hey, and I'm asking, hallelujah. He said, even as he shifted me, even into the apostolic, hallelujah. This is why he's raising up the church. And some of you, you know, you got to get here. Some of you, you know you got to be here in North Carolina, but you are dragging your feet. Ha, ah, glory. Hallelujah. And some of you, the Lord says he wants to put his spirit inside of you before it's too late. See, as God is shifting me, he's trying to shift you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. If you're connected to me for real, for real, then guess what? It's time for you to shift. Hallelujah. You got to come off the bottle. You got to come off of being spoon fed. Hallelujah. It's time to eat some meat and potatoes. Come on. Ha, huh? glory. I hear God saying it's time for you all to grow up. Listen, I'm not going to be with you always. Hallelujah. Jesus told the disciples, hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He told them before he departed. He told the disciples, he said, I'm not going to be with you always. That there's going to come a time, hallelujah, where everything that I taught you, you got to apply it. Hallelujah. Hey, okay. Hallelujah. Jesus told the disciples, he said, there's going to come a time, hallelujah, glory to God, where everything I taught you, everything, you got to apply it now. Hallelujah. He said, the time will come, hallelujah, where I won't be present no more. Y'all not going to talk back to me. See, y'all take advantage of the Facebook live and the prayer line. Hallelujah. Some of you get on and some of you don't. Hallelujah. But you're missing so much. And then you want the blessing. No, you got to be present to receive the blessing. No, you got to be faithful. Hey, to receive the blessing. Come on, Sister Sabrina. Hallelujah. Sister Sabrina Williams made the decision to join the ministry. Hallelujah. When God was dealing with her, I'm going to share your testimony, Sister Sabrina, to help somebody out. Hey, I'm just going to share it to, to help somebody out. She said, you know what? 
I have to be a part of this ministry. She said, I can't just keep getting on the prayer line. I can't just keep coming to the service every now and then. She said, I got to get connected. Mm, hallelujah. And as she, oh God, as she got connected, I'm talking about for real, for real. I'm talking about for real, for real. I'm talking about submitting the email. Hallelujah. And receiving a welcome letter. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, come on here. Hallelujah. You got to get connected. Hallelujah to the true prophet. You got to get connected. And when you get connected, hallelujah to the ministry. Oh, I'm talking right here in the Holy Ghost. See, some of you know me, but you don't really know me. Some of you know me, hallelujah, but you don't know me by way of the spirit. So it's hard to receive from the fountain that you have no knowledge of. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. God says he's planted this ministry, hallelujah, for the people to receive. But if you don't get connected, you'll just be a hearer. You, you, you'll just be a hearer. Come on, who am I helping today? You'll just be a hearer. Come on, hallelujah. Sister Sabrina said, get connected. Hallelujah. See, that's her testimony. But see, she had to come out from among them. Woo. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost is speaking. Hallelujah. I got to lay the foundation before I give you this word about double. See, I'm not a prophet that's just going to jump into the blessing. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet that's just going to jump into the blessing. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God got me wired totally different. Because guess what? You can go on somebody else's live and get a blessing. And guess what? It'll never come. You know why the blessing won't come? Hallelujah. You know why the blessing won't come? Because many of you don't want to obey God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, there's something called the process. Hey, there's something called the process. And just because the prophet says it doesn't mean it's going to manifest in your life. There comes a time. Glory to God. See, Job had to go through his process. See, 42 chapters of going through. Hallelujah. See, Job had to go through. It wasn't until the 42nd chapter until he received double. But there were some things that Job had to go through. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and we don't have time, amen, to read all of it. Hallelujah. But the Bible, glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, in the beginning, it talked about everything he had, Sister Kim. Hallelujah. It talked about everything he had. And as the Bible began to go on, it says that Job, hallelujah, was an upright man. Hallelujah. It said that Job was noble. Hallelujah. Job obeyed God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. See, Job was obedient unto death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job, in the beginning, it talked about his obedience to God. See? <laughs> Hallelujah. I know. I know your obedience has caused you to lose some stuff. See, they ain't going to preach it the way that it really is. Come on, somebody. When you obey God. In the beginning, you're going to lose some stuff. You're going to lose some friends. Hallelujah. I lost a couple. Hallelujah. Right after the women's conference. And I'm so glad I did. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. Somebody say, Providence, why are you going to say that? I'm going to say it because it's the truth. See, the, oh, y'all not going to. Some of y'all just missed that. It went right over top of your head. Let, let me encourage you. When you are really in the vein of God. Mm, Hallelujah. When you are really operating, hallelujah, in the true authentic oil of God, hallelujah, you're going to lose some stuff. You're going to lose some people because they don't like it now. Hallelujah. They don't like the fact that you really hear from God. Hey, hallelujah. They don't like the fact that you see their mess. Oh, if I see mess, I'm going to say something. Come on. See the old Carmen, you thought you knew me years ago. I'm sorry. God shifted me. Hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. If it's mess around me, I got to bring exposure to it. Come on, because God want to bring you out. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, that's a true friend. Come on here. Hallelujah. Now we got people saying, sis and bro. No, I ain't going to call you my sis and I ain't going to call you my bro if we ain't really connected. Because see, if we ain't got the same spirit and we don't serve the same God. Hallelujah. And guess what? You ain't my sis and you surely ain't my bro. See, when God, mm, we shifting again right here. Somebody's getting revelation. See, when God really shifts you, hallelujah, not only just elevates you, but when he shifts you to the truth, 
You don't even want to lie no more. You, you don't even want to be around liars no more. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. You, you don't even want to contaminate your spirit. Hallelujah. With stuff that's contaminated. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I had to die to some stuff. Wait a minute, God had to clean me up. Wait a minute, I had to get delivered. Hold up, wait a minute. Not only did I have to get delivered, but God purified my thoughts. Hey, so you come with your toxic thoughts. I don't wanna hear that. Come on, somebody. You Oh, y'all not gonna talk back to me. Hallelujah, some of y'all don't mind staying connected to mess. And that's why you can't elevate. That's why you can't grow. Hallelujah. But the moment, ah, glory, that you desire to say, you know what? I desire to be in the will of God. I desire to please God. Hallelujah. If I got to walk by myself, hallelujah, I desire to please God. We shifted again. Hallelujah. Hey, you're the massacre. But some of you don't mind compromising. Because see, you want everybody to like you. But guess what? In this way, who am I talking to? In this way, you're not going to be like. You're not supposed to be like. Come on, if everybody like, hey, everybody like you, then something is wrong. Come on, when they start speaking well of you and they put you on the pedestal, be careful. You better watch that. <laughs> hallelujah. Because it's easy to compromise. Hallelujah. It's easy, hallelujah, to want this. It's easy to want the claps and the accolades. But how many of you know when they clap for you a little too long? Hallelujah. When they put you on a pedestal just a little too long, you better be careful. Because the same ones that put you up are the same ones <laughs> that'll drop you real quick. Ask me how I know. I just gave somebody a golden key to heaven right there. Hallelujah. Be very, very careful. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to? Be very careful. Because see, when God is shifting you, come on. See, when God is pruning you, hallelujah, hallelujah, he changes your mindset. Not that you become holier than thou or I can't be around nobody. No, 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 no. He'll have you to be around the right people, Sister Thelma. But see, 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 you got to know, hallelujah, you got to know when God is shifting you. You, you got to know, people of God, hallelujah, when God is saying, come out from among them. You got to know, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even in your process of knowing, hallelujah, even in your process of coming out, it don't always feel good. Hallelujah. Let me encourage some of you because it didn't feel good for Job. See, see, even his wife told him, why don't you curse God and die? You got all these boils on your body. Job, you done lost everything. We done lost the children. You done lost the cattle. You done lost everything that had value. Mm. Hallelujah. Job said, foolish woman, how dare you tell me to curse God and die after God has been so good to me? Who am I helping today? After God, hallelujah, has raised me up. Hallelujah. In the moment when everybody dropped me. Woo, hallelujah. Wait a minute. You think I'm going to deny God? You think I'm going to deny the one that gave me the children? You think I'm going to deny the one that gave me the cattle? You think I'm going to deny the one, hallelujah, that gave me riches and wealth? Wait a minute. Woo, I feel a release in the atmosphere. Wait a minute. Hold up. They got to be greater after this. Hallelujah. There has to be more after this. Wait a minute. You think I'm going to deny the one, hallelujah, that created me? You got to be crazy. Hallelujah. When God created you too. Oh, you think I'm going to side with you? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I'm going to side with the one, hallelujah, that gave me breath in my body. I'm going to side with the one, hallelujah. Yes, he allowed some things to be taken, but guess what? He's the God of restoration. Woo, hallelujah. I said he's the God of restoration. And see, Sister Thelma, God want to restore you, but you got to come out from among them. See, Sister Thelma, you got to make up in your mind, hallelujah, to cross over to the other side. Hallelujah. I can't tell you to come to our church. Hey, you got to see the vultures and the snakes for who they are. And sometimes in life, hallelujah, glory to God. See, even Job, hallelujah, he had the assignment to pray for his friends. But he couldn't connect with his friends. Woo, read your Bible. Read your Bible. See, see, see. <laughs> the Bible said that Job got to the place to where he prayed for his friends. See, you can pray for somebody, but you ain't got to stay connected to them. 
See, I can pray for you from a distance. I ain't got to be in your in your circle though. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible said that, glory to God, he prayed for his friends. See, sometimes we got to connect, but still, you ain't got to be in everybody's presence now. Come on, hallelujah, choose your company. Hey, that's a word for somebody, choose your company. Hallelujah, see, sometimes I don't mind eating alone because I don't need a snake sitting across from me at the table. Y'all not going to talk back to me. I don't need somebody, amen, sitting across the table that really don't like me, that really don't care for me. Hallelujah. That's why I'm careful even who I talk to on the phone. No, you're not going to waste, you, you know, no, no, you're not going to waste my time and you're not going to waste my oil. Wait a minute. You might call me, but I might not answer. Hey, because you really don't want to cross over anyway. You really don't want the truth any. Hey, you're domesticated. You really don't want to come out anyway. Don't waste my time and don't have me waste my oil. Come on, hallelujah. Sister Thelma, you ain't got to inbox me no more. Talking about prophetess, pastor, pastor, I'm coming to the church. Just come to the church. Come on, hallelujah, just come. <laughs> come on, Jesus said, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus said, just come. What's the problem? I get inboxes. I ain't coming to church today, pastor. I'll be there next week. You ain't even got to message me. You better talk to the father. You ain't got to tell me nothing. Come on here, because we're going to have church whether you come or not. The Holy Spirit going to move whether you come or not. Miracles are going to be released. Hey, and I might say, okay, whether you come or not. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. God's going to move whether you bless his kingdom or not. Hallelujah. Hey, and I might say, okay, ain't nothing slowing down. Just because you slow down. Come on. Get on the train. Because the train is still at the dock. Hello. God said the train is still at the dock. Some of you need to get on the train. What you afraid of? Hallelujah. What you scared of? You'd rather be around demons and devils? Hallelujah. What, what you afraid of? Hallelujah. Glory to God. God says, come out from among them and be ye separated. Come on. I even had some men of God here in Raleigh. They said, they said, apostle, I would love to sit under your ministry, but it's a bunch of women there. I said, oh, the men are coming. Then as soon as the men come, the men leave. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. The few men that come, they can't even stay long enough. Oh, I'm getting in trouble. I'm getting in good trouble today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't understand that you might be a stumbling block for somebody else. See, but you worrying about what people going to say. You worrying about what people think. No, you better get your healing and get your deliverance. Oh, it's quiet. I know. I know. I know. I know. Because see, sometimes your blessing, hallelujah, is attached to her by you being obedient. Amen. Hallelujah. Your blessing is attached to that. Come on. Hallelujah. Some of you, it's like every week, Pastor, I'm moving. I'm moving to North Carolina. Okay, don't message me no more. Don't email me no more. Don't even call me no more. Make your decision. I know what God told me. Okay, well, he told you, then what else do you need? <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah. Some of you sitting back talking about, oh, I want to be a part of prophetic impact, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. You dying spiritually. Some of you sick in your body. You know healing is flowing here. You know deliverance is flowing here. Hallelujah. Some of you won't even take the drive. It's a five hour drive for you to get healed, but you won't do that. Come on. <laughs> Somebody say, I got to drive five hours. No, you don't have to do anything. You could just stay sick. Hey, hallelujah. You don't have to do anything. You could just stay bound. Come on, hallelujah. Some people say to me, Minister Hattie, they say, well, do I really got to sell? Why I got to give? Why I got to give him my money? You don't have to give God anything. Hello. But if you say God blessed you, then why not bless God? <laughs> <laughs> if you say, okay. you say God prospered you, then why not get back to the Lord? Come on, we shifted again right here. Let's shift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say that God is with you. All right. Let us see that God is with you then. Come on. You say that you believe. Y'all not going to talk back to me this beautiful morning, this beautiful afternoon. You say that God is with you, but we don't see no fruit. Hey. 
You say that God is faithful, but you don't even trust him. Hey, hallelujah. You say that God is, oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. You say that he's your everything, but we don't see no fruit, no evidence of it. <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah. We are the true saints. We are the true children of God. We shifting again. Let's shift right here. I'm going to get back to double in a minute. But where are you? Hello. I don't see you. Come on. Hallelujah. We don't see you. Hallelujah. Hey, now my second. Hallelujah. You say God called you to this and God called you to that. We don't see the fruit. Hello. We need to see the fruit. Thank you, Minister Hattie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. We don't see the fruit. Glory to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Where's your fruit? Amen. Jesus said in his word, he said, you must bear much fruit. But, but let me, can I, can I help somebody right here? The fruit don't come by your, you, you can't get fruit by yourself. See, we shifting again. I know, I know, I know some of y'all stay with me right here. You ain't got to hit a heart. You ain't got to say hallelujah. Listen to this. See what people don't understand is fruit don't. <laughs> Some people say, I want the fruit of God. You can't get his fruit without an impartation. Hey, you can't get his fruit without a seed. Ah, hallelujah. If you look at every piece of fruit, it has what in it? It has a seed in it. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am a product of three powerful leaders. I didn't get here by myself. Hey, hallelujah. I wasn't birthed out by myself. Come on, somebody. You can't birth yourself out. Hallelujah. You need a midwife. You need an intercessor. You need a prophet. Hallelujah. You need an apostle to birth you out. But nowadays we got people saying, well, you know, I'm called by God. Okay. We thank God for your calling. Hallelujah. But now you need impartation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now you need somebody to help birth you out. Hallelujah. Now you need a seed. Ah, glory to God. Deposit it inside of you so that you can become something great. But not something great for yourself, but something great for God. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, what you see is a product. I'm a product of what was poured inside of me and what was poured upon me. Hallelujah, the fresh oil, the anointing. Hallelujah, glory to God. I didn't get here by myself. I want to help some of y'all because some of you that think you, you know, you, you, no, you need a leader. Hello, you need a pastor. Hello, just because you read the word don't mean nothing. You need, hey, and I'm okay. you need revelation. Come on. You need some revelation. Hello. And you can't get revelation by yourself. And you can't get revelation in your house. Somebody may say, I'm a prophet. God speaks to me. Stop lying. Because I've been a prophet all my life. And guess what? It took prophets to pour into me. It took other prophets, hallelujah, that can see further than I can see. Y'all not going to talk back to me on this beautiful morning. Come on, hallelujah. Some of you stuck in your little bubble. You know why you stuck in your little bubble? Because it's me, myself, and I. <laughs> hallelujah. Hey, and I'm not okay. I just felt the yoke destroyed right there. Listen, when you come out of me, myself, and I, that's when you're going to grow. <laughs> when you come out of just me and mine's and, you know, me and my. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I got to come out. Hallelujah. I feel a breaking right here. I feel a yoke being destroyed right here. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I got to come out. I got to come out. I even got to come out of my house. Hallelujah. Some of you need to come out of your comfort zone. Hallelujah. The woman with the issue of blood, she wouldn't have never got healed if she ain't come out the house. Come on. Hallelujah. It took the woman with the issue of blood to come out of her house. Hello. Hallelujah. You stay in your comfort zone. You ain't never going to receive from God. You stay in your little bubble, in your mindset, in your own mindset. This is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to stay. Well, guess what? That's how you're going to stay. And that's how you're going to do it. Hallelujah. But God says, I'm expanding my people even now. How are you going to get to the harvest if you don't never plant a seed? Hey, how are you going to get to a harvest if you don't never pray? Hallelujah. How are you going to get to a harvest if you don't never fast? Y'all not going to talk back to me. How? Woo, hallelujah. How can we get to the double? Hallelujah. If we're not afraid to lose some stuff. 
See, it's called sacrifice. Because see, Job was in the midst of sacrificing. He had to watch God literally allow this stuff to happen in his life. He had to watch Sister Tracy. And sometimes when God is allowing stuff to leave your life, it don't feel good. But it's a part of your shift and it's a part of your process. Hallelujah. Even being poured into is a process because guess what? It's not common. Come on. Hallelujah. You got a leader that cares about you. That's not common. You got a church that really loves you. That's not common. You got a ministry now. Hallelujah. That you have access to. That's not common. Come on. You got a leader that's really praying for you. That's not common. Hallelujah. So it's hard for many people to really get connected. Y'all not going to talk back to me. We talked about the four types of healing the other night. And there's so much healing that has to take place with people. Hallelujah. Just because you want me to mentor you, I got to make sure that you're ready to be mentored. Because I'm not wasting the oil in this season. Hallelujah. I need to be, come on somebody. I need to pour into those that really want a move of God. Come on, I need a pastor and I need to cover those that really want the word of God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Those of you, oh, 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 God is speaking. I know. I know some of you said, yeah, 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 yeah. God, you're dealing with me. It's about five of you God is dealing with. Come on, stop saying you connected to me and you ain't connected to the ministry. Hey, because I am the ministry. Did you catch that? Stop saying you're connected. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. God dealt with me earlier today. The Lord dealt with me earlier today about relationships. How can you say you're connected to somebody and you're not even connected to the oil that flows from them? Hey, the devil is a liar. Get out of here. <laughs> Hallelujah. God was dealing with me even about marriage. Hallelujah. Some of you, your marriage fell because they didn't know who you were. Hallelujah. Some of you, your marriage, oh God. Some of you relationships sever because people don't really know who you are. See, <laughs> see that, that just went over top of somebody's head. See, relationships sever. Marriages are broken because people don't really understand who you are. But if they understood who you were, they would appreciate the oil that's on your life. They would appreciate the anointed. Hallelujah. That you carry. I know. I just lost about three of y'all right there. Say, no, Jesus is my everything. Jesus is my all in all. Do you know God uses people? How many of you know God uses people? Hello. Do you know Jesus is not going to knock on your door? He ain't going to knock on your door. <laughs> I know some of the saints think that he is. I know. He's on the right hand of the Father. <laughs> Making intercession for us. Hallelujah. Jesus ain't going to knock. Uh, let me not knock because my dog going to get up and start barking. I, I, learned the I learned the lesson last week, <laughs> Minister Tanya. Last time I knocked on his table, she started barking. No, 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 no. Jesus is not going to knock on your door. Jesus is going to use somebody to help you to get your healing, to get y'all not going to talk back to me, to get your deliverance, and even to get your salvation. Do you know I didn't get saved by myself? <laughs> Sister Johan, I didn't get saved by myself. It took an evangelist ministering to me for those two minutes. Somebody shout, God uses people. Hello. Come on. Yes, I was always his prophet. I was a prophet in my mother's womb. So whether I accepted Jesus Christ or not, I'm still his prophet. Catch the revelation. But just because you're a prophet, you still got to be saved. <laughs> I know this goes against some people's doctrine. They say, no, once saved, always saved. I'm always be saved because I'm saved. Okay. All right. No, you need to confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You need to ask him to come into your heart and be Lord of your life. According to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. So it took my first pastor to, to help me get saved. See, <laughs> I 
I had to step foot in the church. And even before stepping foot in the church, my aunt, Pastor Dorothy Hurd, Listen, she was my first pastor. I tell her all the time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Before I had actually had a pastor, she was in my life. She was my prophet and my pastor. Hallelujah. For those of you that can't differentiate the two, you know, some of you say my pastor is my prophet. No, the pastor is the pastor. And if they have a, an anointing for all spiritual gifts, then they are everything to you. That just flew over, over top of somebody else's head right there too. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to help y'all this beautiful Freedom Friday. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm trying to help the people of God because many of you got to understand the process. You still got to be saved. Hello. Come on with your gift itself. I'm a prophet. All right. Prophet, get saved. Hello. So that when you, when you die, you can see Jesus with your gift itself. And if you have, hey, and I'm not sick, hey, I hear you, Holy Ghost. And if you have backslidden, you better repent with your gifted self. I'm just going to prophesy every day. I'm just going to be the prophet. Okay, you better make sure that you're saved. See, that's why you need a pastor. <laughs> Come on. That's why you need a covering. See that? See that? See that? That's why. To keep you in alignment with your gifted self. Come on, you still need a covering. Ha, ah, even as you're out there ministering. Hello. I have a covering. Yes, I'm an apostle. Yes, I'm a pastor. Yes, I'm a prophet, evangelist, all of that stuff. I still have a covering. I still have someone that I'm accountable to. Hello. I still pay my tithes. Uh-oh, some leaders can't say that. Some prophets can't. Hey, I know my okay. Some prophets can't say that. Oh, but you prophesying. Get out of here. Sit down. Sit down. You're not even accountable. You are illegitimate and you need to get back to order. <laughs> ah, hey, hallelujah. I felt the release right there for somebody. You are illegitimate. You operating illegitimately because you're telling the people to be accountable, but you ain't even. A we done shifted again. We all the way out there now, y'all. Hey, hallelujah. Don't tell me you a prophet and you don't pay your tithes. Get out of here. Don't tell me you a leader in the body of Christ and you ain't accountable to nobody. You just floating everywhere. You just here, there, and everywhere. You just doing what you want to do. That's why the devil on your heels. That's why the hey, you're not That's why you ain't got no victory. Come on. That's why your life is a seesaw. It's up and down. Come on. One day you're up, the next day you're down. One day you're up, the y'all not gonna talk back to me. Hey, hallelujah. But when you are obedient and accountable to God, see. See, somebody say, I ain't going to be accountable to man. All right, well, you go right on ahead. You, you go right on ahead. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you go right on ahead and do your own thing. There's so many people doing their own thing. But when are you ever going to be restored? When is restoration going to come in your life and you're not accountable to God? Come on. See, restoration can only come once you get to the place of being accountable. Amen. See, Job had an assignment after he lost everything. He had an assignment. Let's read it. Let's read it because I don't want to lose y'all. I know y'all done got mad at me. I done got in good trouble. Mother Addie, I don't know if you want, but pray for me. Pray for me. Come on. That's right. That's right. Rebellious. That's right, Prophet Cretia. It's too much rebellion in the body. See, I ain't, I ain't want to say that though because when you start talking about rebellion, people, you know, they like, uh. See, we're we, we not going to go that deep. <laughs> <laughs> Prophet Cretia, listen, we're we not going to go that deep this morning, all right? But you're right. The root cause is rebellion. Come on. And when we are rebellious, we stiff neck. Come on. And when we stiff neck, can't nobody tell us nothing. I'm helping about three of y'all because you coming out today. Hallelujah. You need victory in your life. Aren't you tired of living with people? Who am I talking to? Hi, y'all about shape. Some of you living with folk. No, you need your own place. How you a prophet and you... You living from pillow to post. You ain't got no money in your bank account, but you telling the people that they're going to be blessed. You ain't got no favor on your life, but you talking about I release the favor of God. What favor you releasing and you ain't got no favor? Somebody shout hypocrisy. 
Somebody shout hypocritical. Hallelujah. Y'all not going to talk back to me. That That's hypocritical. Hello. How can I say God going to bless you, but I ain't blessed? Hey, and I'm not sick. Hey, how can I say God going to heal you, but I'm sick? Y'all, y'all bet. Y'all, see, y'all, y'all not ready. <laughs> hallelujah. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready for the truth. Come on. Hallelujah. How can you pray? Mm, I hear you, Holy Ghost. God says, I want you to pray for my sick. I want you to heal the sick, but how can you heal the sick? And you, how can you pray deliverance? Hallelujah for somebody else. And you need deliverance. Hey, you struggling. Hallelujah. Your hands is dirty. Your heart ain't pure. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Your mind is so confused, but you prophesying. Come on. You releasing some stuff. Come on. And it's contaminated. Ha. Huh? Hallelujah. God says it's time for you to get clean. Hey, he says it's time for you to get clean again. He says it's time for you to get clean again. Who is this word for this morning? Hallelujah. It's time. Higher by Shay. It's time for you to get clean again. Hey, somebody shall create in me a clean heart. Oh God, and renew within me a right spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody shall create in me a clean heart. Hallelujah. And renew within me a right spirit. Ha. Hallelujah. We pray and asking God for stuff. No, we need to ask God to clean our heart. We need to ask God to clean our hands. I know I just lost two of you right there. Hallelujah. Because you don't want to be clean before God. Hallelujah. Because you say God can take you any kind of way. Somebody shout God purify me. Somebody shout God clean my hands. Come on, somebody shout, God, purify my heart. Somebody shout, God, take the jealousy out. Take the envy out. Take the strife out so that I can be used for your glory. Because, see, Job had the assignment. Let's read it. Let's read it. Job 42 and 10. Come on, Job 42 and 10. Hallelujah. Also, the Lord told me, thank you, Minister Hattie, for sharing the four ways to sow. The Lord said the seed for today is 42 and 10. That's what he gave me. He gave it to me two hours ago. I said, God, you really want me to tell the people of God that the seed amount is $40, 42 and 10. He said, yes. So it's 42 and 10. For those of you that received this word now, for those of you that really believe God for double, come on, for those of you that lost some stuff, Hallelujah. And, and you know what the Lord told me, Minister Hattie? Thank you for hitting those hearts. You know what God told me, Minister Tanya? He said, some people are not going to sow it. Listen to this. He said, because they have already been sowing. I said, okay, God. I said, okay, God. He said, and tell them if they obey him today by sowing the 4210, the Lord's said, he says, he's creating you to be a giver. See, some of you have to learn how to sow. See, mm, 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 mm. Let, let me read Job 42 and 10. It says, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Let me read it again. I'm going to read it a few times to get it in your spirit. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Come on. See, now if you go back a few verses, his friends were saying, what did you do, Job? You lost everything, Job. Listen, something had to happen somewhere. So in the midst of them accusing Job of doing wrong, Job said, uh-uh, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. The Bible says when he prayed for his friends, also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. My Lord. My Lord, it's quiet. It's quiet. Job, hallelujah, was given twice as much. See, now this is for those of you that lost some stuff. This is for those of you, your body has been afflicted. I know, I know. This is for those of you that stand in the need of healing, but you didn't give up on God. See, see, this is, the, <laughs> see, because we're at the end of the chapter. Hallelujah. That's prophetic right there. Well, we're at the end of something. Hallelujah. That's prophetic right there. See, Job 42 and 10. See, 42 is the last chapter. Y'all with me? Come on. Don't look at me like I'm crazy now. Come on. Don't scratch your head and say, wait a minute. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? God is speaking to you. Amen. 42 and 10. Seed amount. 42 and 10. God says he's about to turn your mourning into dancing. He said for me to tell you, he said, some of you, he says, he's going to restore your praise also. 
Can you imagine at this time when Job had lost everything and then God told them to pray for the ones that accused him of doing wrong? Can you imagine the mindset of Job? And he still, to the very end, he still obeyed God. The Bible says that God turned the captivity. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. I feel like shouting on this word right here. God turned the captivity. Hallelujah. Listen, God had turned it. Listen, I want to say this. Thank you for your seed, Sister Sabrina. I want to say this. If you have to hold it until you get 42 and 10, hold it until you get 42 and 10. Don't send in partial. Don't, 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 don't see partial today. All right. Don't, don't see partial. Amen. Woman of God, when you get that other 20, that's when you sow it. But sow it before today is out. All right. $42 and 10 cents. That's what God gave me, and I have to obey him. I'm not a money prophet. Never been. Never been. But I know about seed. Hallelujah. And I hey, and I'm okay. Hallelujah. I know about seed. Because the Bible says, as long as the earth remains, there shall be seed time and harvest. Hallelujah. As long as this earth remains. Glory to God. There shall be seed time and harvest. My beautiful daughter Siani is on. She would tell you. Hallelujah. Before I even started pastoring, I got my hands lifted to God. Before I started pastoring, I sold thousands of dollars into my church. I sold what God told me to sow. Hallelujah. There were weeks that I planted thousand dollar seeds. Y'all not going to talk back to me because the Lord was blessing my business so greatly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My tithe was like 500, but I always seeded more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My time sometimes was 700, but I always increased it and gave double. Hallelujah. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. So my hands are lifted to God because I know about seed time and harvest. Amen. My daughter's on. She hitting those hearts. Let me tell y'all something. That's my oldest daughter. Amen. She's 21. She'll be 22. Let me tell you something. That's my oldest daughter. Hallelujah. She watched me walk this way. Hallelujah. My daughter has watched my process. Y'all not going to talk back to me. The anointing that rests on my life, it didn't come overnight. Hallelujah. I had to go through my process. I had to hear God and obey God. So the Lord says, some of you are going to question the seed of 42 and 10. He says, some of you are going to question because you sold earlier this week. You sold last week. Some of you might have paid your tithes last week. Some of you might have paid your tithes today. And you might say, I still got to sow 42 and 10. You got to obey God. Amen. We have to learn to obey God. What did the Bible say? And God turned the captivity. How many of you in bondage? Lift your hand. If you know you're in, hey, and I'm not sick, hey, I'm getting ready to exit, y'all. Give me 10 more minutes. If you know you're in bondage, this word is for you. If you know you are in captivity, there is something that has you in bondage, something that has you restricted, this word is for you. Whether it's the enemy, <laughs> whether it's your mindset, Hallelujah. This word is for you. God says he's about to turn the captivity, which, oh God, what that means is he's about to bring you out of bondage. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see so many of you getting free. I see so many of you coming out of bondage. I see so many of you coming out of the city you are in. God's going to open the door for you to get another residence in another city. Hallelujah. Some of you are going to come out of the state that you are in. Hallelujah. And God's A, hey, and I'm not saying, hey, Hallelujah is going to take you from one place to the next. Receive the word. Receive this word. See, I didn't realize, amen, that I was in captivity in Philadelphia. Hallelujah. Before the Lord, hallelujah, allowed me to move from Philadelphia to Raleigh. See, bondage is bondage. Let me tell you something. I wasn't bound by the enemy. The enemy didn't have me, but I was still in bondage. Sometimes you're in bondage because you're restricted. Glory be to God. Sometimes, hey, and I'm not okay. Hallelujah. Sometimes you're in bondage because of restriction. Some of you, your ministry, there's a lid on it <laughs> because of where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And sometimes you got to come out from among them. I know you don't want to. I know because you, you know people going to look at you like you're crazy. Come on, I got to do it like this because there's some of you in ministry, but it's time for you to come out of that out of that bondage. 
Hallelujah. It is, I'm, I got I to gotta keep my hand right here. Because guess what? God want to take you here, but you're still right here. Hallelujah. And you're praying, and you're fasting, and you're ministering, but you're still right here. Ha! Ah, hallelujah. Ask me how I know. Hallelujah. I didn't realize, amen, that when I was in Philadelphia, I was restricted. Glory to God. The Bible says, hallelujah, a prophet is not worthy in his hometown. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And guess what? They love me. But guess what? Philadelphia didn't honor me. <laughs> hallelujah. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Oh, they love the ministry. They love the gift. Oh, they were happy about that. Oh, we got a gifted prophet. We got a true prophet. We got one that, that speaks the true word of God and it manifests. It comes to pass. Oh, we love that part. But there was no honor. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, if I go back now and preach, oh, there's honor now. Hallelujah. Because God has shifted me. Amen. That's going to always be my hometown. Hallelujah. But guess what? My ministry was right here. Hallelujah. No support. Y'all not going to talk back to me. I'm helping somebody in ministry. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep my hand right here. The Holy Ghost is telling me to. Some of you, your businesses are restricted. Hey, because of where you are. Woo! Glory to God. L let me just minister to you, Evangelist Arlene, real quick, because your face just flashed before me, Evangelist. Listen, it's not that they don't want to buy your jewelry, Evangelist. It's just you in the wrong place. <laughs> Woo! God is showing me something concerning you, Evangelist Arlene. Hallelujah. I see you with a small business. When, hey, Namaste. Here in Raleigh, North Carolina. The Lord just showed me it's like a sweet. You know, a sweet is like a small business. I'm going to keep my hand right here, y'all, and still minister. Let, let me tell you something. Let, let me encourage you, Evangelist Arlene. What the Lord just showed me, I see a sweet. I see you having a small place. But guess what? You're going to sell your jewelry there. Ah, hallelujah. I see a website. Hallelujah. With your jewelry, Evangelist Arlene. Hallelujah. I see so much. Speak, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Evangelist Arlene, are you there? Amen. Can you hear me? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Evangelist Arlene, can you hear me? Just let me know you can hear me. Just say, Pastor, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. Somebody tag Evangelist Arlene. I don't know if she's here. I can't even see the comments. All right, let's get to the last comment. I, I don't even know. Y'all bear with me. Okay. Did she say she's here? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Evangelist Arlene, if you are here, I want you to hit those hearts. Glory to God, because I got to release this word to you live. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to keep my hand right here, because some of y'all, this is where your ministry is. Amen. Okay, you can hear me. Awesome. Amen. I see a small business. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Minister Hattie. She's here. I see a small business. I see like a suite. And God says, once you get here and get planted, he's going to bless you with a suite. He's going to give you a small business for your jewelry. Hallelujah. And area. Now, my sake, the Lord says within two years, he's going to teach, you're going to teach people how to create jewelry and how to make jewelry within the next two years. And your jewelry business is going to take off. Hallelujah. But it's going to be an anointed jewelry business. But God says where you are, it's not that they don't want to support you. It's not that they don't want to buy your jewelry. Hallelujah. But they're familiar. Ha! Ah, glory to God. And sometimes when people are familiar with you, they don't respect you. They say, oh, she got just a little business. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Her, her business is small. Eh? She, she ain't doing nothing. You know, she, she just making little, little pieces of jewelry. Hey, hallelujah. I see platinum. High up, I shake. I see gold. And I'm talking about real gold. Hallelujah. God is about to bless. Hey, I hear you, God. And I feel your power. God is about to bless the work of your hands. Evangelist Arlene. Hallelujah. But you got to shift. Hallelujah. And get to your place of promise. Hey, hallelujah. You got the shift. Glory to God. Because they're going to love your jewelry here in North Carolina. Hallelujah. They're going to support you. Glory to God. And I prophesy over your business just like God did it for me before I left Philadelphia. Hallelujah. My clients was paying me double. Hallelujah. Hey, My clients was paying me double to do their hair. And they was tipping me more than they ever tipped me. Hallelujah. My daughter, Siani, she's on her lunch break. She can testify. Hallelujah. She can tell you that people was dropping hundred dollar bills on the counter when they left to get their hair done. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. Talking about, I don't know why I'm giving you this, Carmen, but I'm just going to bless you. 
They didn't know that when God told me to move to North Carolina, he said, save up $10,000. Hey, glory to God. I'm testifying right here. Somebody's business is about to go from here to here. Somebody's ministry is about to go from here to here. Hear me in the Holy Ghost and get your seed in the ground. God said 42 and 10. Hallelujah. $42 and 10 cents. Come on. Some of you is a sacrifice. Just do it. Come on, somebody. We got this area. Now, Master K, we got to stop saying we don't have it. But I promise you, if your girlfriend say, let's go out to eat tonight, oh, you're going to spend that $42 on some steak. But see, that steak ain't bringing you, hey, it's not bringing you a harvest. <laughs> it's just good for your belly. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That steak. <laughs> That steak dinner, it's just good. It's <laughs> I got to laugh in the spirit because some of y'all will waste some money on food. It's good for your belly, but it ain't bringing a harvest. That's our next t-shirt. It's harvest time. <laughs> Don't eat your seed. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Minister Tanya, that's our next t-shirt. It's harvest time, so don't eat your seed. I ain't going to wear that when I go out to eat, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah. Listen, it, don't y'all steal that either. I got some thieves on this live. Wait a minute. Don't y'all steal that. Tell me, oh, I'm going to make that t-shirt. That's good, prophetess. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's, that's our t-shirt. That's prophetic impact prayer word ministry. And it's on a recorded video. Don't you, don't you steal that. Because you know how they do, Minister Tyre. Look, I say it one week. The next week I see somebody. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. After I did the teaching on healing, I see all these prophets on their timeline talking about it's a time for healing. No, God ain't give you that. Stop. God ain't give you that. Stop. <laughs> the Lord, hi, ah, glory. He ain't give you that. Now stop it. Just stop. Talking about it's a time for healing. God says it's a time for healing. No, he said that on Monday. He spoke that through. Okay, let's leave that alone. Listen, y'all know I'm telling the truth. I see it all the time. And I said, God, what is going on with the body? He said, it's contaminated. He said, many are compromising, so I'm not speaking to them anymore. I said, oh, wow. He said, hey, shatanda baha. So they have to get their word from another source. Mm. Jesus, have mercy. Hallelujah. There are some that got to get their word from a different source. All right. All right. How many of you ready to elevate? <laughs> Come on. How many of you ready to be restored? Hallelujah. How many of you glory to God? You are really ready for God to bring you out of bondage, bring you out of captivity. Hallelujah. Come on. It don't always have to be the devil either. Listen, God says some of you is in your mind. Hallelujah. Come on. Get your 42 and 10 in the ground. Amen. Get your seed of 42 and 10 in the ground. Come on. Hallelujah. If it's a sacrifice, sacrifice. Amen. And watch God do it for you. Amen. The Lord says some of you, it's a sacrifice. Listen, sacrifice that seed. Hallelujah. If you sold last week, if you sold this week, you sold last month, get the 42 and 10 in the ground. I'm telling you, anytime God give me a number, he always does it. Amen. He always moves. Hallelujah. And like I said, I'm not a money prophet. I'm not even into that. I don't even, I don't even flow like that. <laughs> Never have. And I'm so grateful. Amen. But when God gives me a seed amount, hallelujah, it's instant. It's instant. It's instant. Listen, some of you going to, Hey, I hear your Holy Ghost. Some of you going to have testimonies within 24 hours. The Lord says within 24 hours. Hallelujah. He says within 24 hours, I hear God. I hear God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to take this 42 and 10 and I'm sowing it to my apostle. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that God can bless my life and bless my family and bless my children. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God says restoration is here. He says restoration shall be your portion for the rest of this year. Oh, I wrote the word down as God gave it to me in prayer. Amen. He says restoration shall be your portion for the rest of this year. And then he gave me Joel chapter 2, verse 25 through 28. Amen. Let's read that. Y'all give me five more minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, God is doing it for me. Come on. Somebody shout, God is doing it for me. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, God is doing it for me. Come on. Hallelujah. This is your word. Hallelujah. Freedom Friday. 
Come on. So, hey, Yanamaseke. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, God is doing it for me. Come on. Somebody shout, God is doing it for me. Amen. And I hear the Lord saying, there's two of you that you don't have the seed amount. Amen. You don't have it. I'm going to pray for you that God will give it to you. And miraculously, he's going to give you the seed to sow. The Lord said, there's two of you. Amen. That are on this live and you don't have the 42 and 10. My Lord. My Lord. Hallelujah. God said, hey, I hear you, Holy Ghost. The Lord says he's going to give it to you miraculously. And when he gives it to you, plant it and watch what God does in your life. Amen. I'm going to pray for you in just a minute. Uh-huh. It's two of you. The Lord said it's two of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's two of you. You don't have it. Hey. Hallelujah. Even somebody on this live might sow it for you. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Somebody on this live may sow that 42 and 10 for you. It, for the two of you that don't have it, I want you to type, I don't have it. Come on. The Lord said it's two of you. Amen. Don't, don't be embarrassed. Amen. Get your blessing. Come on, don't, don't be embarrassed. Amen. God doesn't embarrass us. He blesses us. Amen. Come on, that's another t-shirt. God don't embarrass us. He blesses us. Amen. Come on, that's the that's second t-shirt. Minister Tanya, write it down for me. Hallelujah. God doesn't embarrass us. He blesses us. Amen. See, there's a person that wants to sow. Sister Maisha, amen. She says, I'll sow for them. See that? And Sister Thelma says, I don't have it. Sister Maisha says, I don't have it. There's the two right there. Amen. There's a two right there. Come on. Hallelujah. Mother Shirley says, I'm one. Come on. Now that's three. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Sabrina says, I got one person. She said, the Holy Ghost is truly speaking. See? Because it was already on their heart. Amen. Listen, when you are a giver, you are a sower. Listen, and whoever's going to sow for somebody else, listen, I want you to write, I'm sowing for. Okay? Take that person's name and in the message box, say, I'm sowing the 42 and 10 for... And you're going to put the person's name. Just pick somebody, all right? Just pick somebody. Amen? Look at God. Look at God. Hallelujah. Look at God. Amen? Look at God. Amen, Sister Cresha. Amen, Prophet Cresha on Instagram. She says, I don't have it. Now, it's two on Instagram. Can somebody sow for Prophet Cresha on Instagram? Come on. Hallelujah. Minister Tanya says, I'll sow for one person. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sister Miranda says, I'll sow for you. See that? All right. To God be the glory. Amen. Listen, everybody's going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Nobody's going to miss out. Amen. Nobody's going to miss out on this word. See why it's important that you stay on? Listen, even if you get offended in the middle of the word, see, see why it's important that you stay on the live? Hallelujah. Listen, this ministry is not an average ministry. Amen. When the word is going forth, it, listen, if it, it listen, you might say, why is she saying that to me? It's not me. I'm not talking to you. Amen. It's the Holy Spirit talking to you. Yes. If the truth, if the truth hurts, then guess what? It hurts, you know, but the Bible says the truth shall make us free and God wants his people free. Amen. Let's read Joel chapter two, verse 25. It says, and I will restore to you the years. Somebody shout years. Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, and I will restore unto you the years. All right. Now, I need you all to just take inventory of who you're sowing for, all right? So that there's not double C's or triple C's coming in for the same person. Can you all just pick one person? Amen. Pick that one person that you're sowing for today. Amen. Amen. Just pick that one person and right underneath, okay? All right. Prophet Cresha says, thank you. Amen. So, I don't know who's sowing for Prophet Cresha. Can I get a name, please? Okay, Sabrina, you can sew for Prophet Cresha. She's on Instagram. Amen. But I thought somebody on Instagram would sew for Prophet Cresha, but it's all right. It's all right. Amen. All right. Okay, I see that God bless you. So that means that some of you have the person's name. Okay. All right, because I can't see everything. Amen. The comments are going real fast. All right. God says, and I will restore unto you. Amen. Okay, so Evangelist Arlene is, is um, sewing for Mother Shirley. Okay. I think Minister Tanya needed a name. Amen. Amen. All right, Sister Tayola. Amen. All right, Sister Tayola. And let me just say this. There are a few that have come to the ministry. Okay, Tashina says I need a name. Okay, listen. There are a few of you that have just come to the ministry a few months ago. I'm going to read Joel in a minute. Um, and you have been so connected and so plugged in to what God is doing here in the ministry. And some of you have testimonies. You have sent your testimonies to me. And they are mind-blowing. I remember about six months ago. Some of you may remember this. Thank you, Minister Tanya. 
Amen. Some of you may remember this. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. When I asked God to send those who really wanted his word. Amen. When I asked God and I prayed, listen, y'all, I prayed for about a week, maybe about a week and a half. I said, Lord, send those who are really hungry for your word. You know, it didn't take away from the members and covenant partners, those of you that were already connected. It didn't take away from you. But I said, God, because there's such an outpour here in this ministry, amen, B because the anointing, and I, I take no credit, I take no credit, but I, I suffer for this. Let me say this, because the anointing is so rich here in the ministry, there might even come a time where the Lord say, come off of Facebook Live. And, and I'm saying that because, listen, people of God, um, it's so rich here. Listen, some of you have gone from being in poverty to now you have a job. Some of you have gone from having a job to now a career. Listen, some of you have gone from being in a, a, a um, mm, I hear you, Holy Ghost, being in a low place spiritually to now you believe God for any and everything. Mm. Some of you have gone from having no faith, <laughs> hallelujah, to now an unshakable faith. That's the work of God. Amen. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. And this is something that we can't pay for. Amen. Amen. Listen, listen. This is something, listen, people of God, we can't pay for it. I don't care how much you sow, how much you get. When I say I don't care, meaning the mindset. Because when we give, our mind got to be clear. When we sow into God, amen, he says he loves a cheerful giver. He said those that give cheerfully, he's going to bless. Hallelujah. He says those of us, glory to God, that give into his kingdom cheerfully, he's going to bless us. Amen. For God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. So when your mindset has shifted, and I'm talking about those of you that have just come to the ministry. Listen, your life will never be the same hallelujah never be the same never be the same you know and, and i take no credit i take no glory i give god all the glory hallelujah so many people talk about this ministry they talk about me you know i go through so much sabotage you all would not understand hallelujah the darts and the arrows that come just because i'm doing the will of my father who sent me hallelujah hallelujah but it's for the souls it's for you all Amen. Glory to God. And God says he's going to restore us. Hallelujah. He's going to heal us. He's going to deliver us. Hallelujah. We are a people. We are a body. Hallelujah. The body of Christ. Hallelujah. Which makes up many members. Hallelujah. But we are the body. Glory to God. I get so much sabotage just being a, you know, a single leader. I'm single now, no longer married. You know, I get sabotaged for that. You know, how you a single pastor leading God's people? Where's your husband? I said, oh, he's coming. Don't worry about it. Just keep on looking. Just keep on watching. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The true man of God is coming. Listen, don't, don't worry about that. Glory to God. Don't worry. Just keep on watching. Listen, you watching and talking. All right, just keep on watching and talking, but pray for me. Amen. Don't worry about that. Hallelujah. Just know that God is blessing his people here. Don't, don't worry about that part. <laughs> Amen. But pray for me. Hallelujah. And know that God is going to do it. Amen. But I say all that to say this to the new viewers, to the new members. God bless you. Amen. I pray for you all to come. Amen. To the new souls that are now part of this ministry, I pray for you all to come. Amen. You're not here by accident. Hallelujah. The oil is so rich here. Let me tell you something. You could get healed on a Facebook live. You could get healed on our prayer line. Hallelujah. It is so rich. Hallelujah. It's so tangible. Glory to God. You come into our service. The presence of God meets you at the door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the presence of God literally hallelujah is in our sanctuary amen he meets us there every sunday hallelujah and i give god praise for it that's why our ministry scripture comes from second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 and that's what god gave me seven years ago amen second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is that spirit 
Hallelujah. I said, now the Lord is that spirit. Come on, catch it real quick. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, he's here. Hallelujah. There is liberty. Amen. There is freedom. Glory to God. So shackles can be broken. Chains can be broken. Generational. Hey, I feel your power, God. Generational curses can be destroyed off of your life. All because you're connected to the ministry. Amen. So I encourage the new viewers. I encourage the new members. I encourage the new covenant partners. Stay connected. Glory to God. Don't leave until you get everything that God has for you. Better yet. Don't you leave until God sends you out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. You have an apostle now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Get all that you need from God. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. You want this deposit. You want, hallelujah, this anointing. Let me tell you something. Don't leave here until you get sent out. I see so many leaders, they leave ministry because they're not being used. Let God deliver you. Let God heal you. I promise you, he going to give you a Sunday to preach now. Hallelujah. He going to give you a night on the prayer line now. Hallelujah. Come on. But God wants us to be faithful. Amen. He's trying to put faithfulness inside of us so that our ministries will last. Hallelujah. Come on. I am an, I am an example and I share this all the time. We're going to get to Joel in a minute. Listen, I am an example because I pressed through the fire. I, listen, I, I fought through adversity. Hallelujah. Listen, when people said it was nothing to me or to the ministry, I kept on going. Hallelujah. When people would say, why are you on the prayer line till three o'clock in the morning? I would say, just get on the prayer line. Hallelujah. Come on. People would sabotage. They would say all kinds of things, you know? And even when I went through my divorce, hallelujah, it was so much negativity. But guess what? I pressed through that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For the souls of God's people. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is why our praise is so high. This is why our worship in the sanctuary is so high. Hallelujah. This is why we keep a praise on our lips. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And a dance in our feet. Hallelujah. Because God, hallelujah, has saved us, delivered us, healed us, and set us free by his spirit. Hallelujah. By his spirit. Hey, I said by his spirit. Huh? I said by his spirit. Glory to God. So we end today, amen, with Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody give God some praise. I feel like praising him. Listen, if we was in the sanctuary, that'd be a praise break right there. Hallelujah. Because some of you really been set free. Hallelujah. Some of you really been healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you really been delivered. Hey, hallelujah. And you have no desire. Oh, I feel his presence. Hallelujah. No desire to go back. Woo. Somebody shout, that's me, that's me, that's me. I've been changed. I, I've been changed for real, for real. Hallelujah. I have no desire to go back. I ain't going back to Egypt. Hallelujah. I'm not going back to sin. Hallelujah. Hey, because God has brought me out and I'm going to stay out. God says, and I will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten. Uh-huh. He says the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm. He says, my great army, which I sent among you. He says in verse 26, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. See, in your time of restoration, God's going to feed you. See, in our time of restoration, he feeds us. Hallelujah. Natural food and spiritual food. Amen. He says, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Mm -hmm. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. He says, and my people shall never be ashamed. Glory to God. See, in your restoration is so much that's attached to it. Right. God just doesn't give us money back that we lost. You know, he doesn't just give us wealth and increase back that we lost. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. He says, I'm going to bless you um, and satisfy you. Amen. He, he says, I'm going to have you to eat in plenty. He says, and guess what? Your praise is going to be restored also. How many of you got your praise back? Hallelujah. How many of you got your praise back today? Come on. How many of you got your joy back today? Mm. Hallelujah. Verse 27. Somebody shout, that's me. I got it back. I'm free today. 
Somebody shout, I'm free today. I'm free. I am free today. Verse 27, and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. Mm. Hallelujah. And none else. He says, and my people shall never be ashamed. Ah, oh, that's some good news right there. And verse 28, and it shall come to pass. Mm, I hear you, Holy Ghost. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit. Somebody shout his spirit. Come on, hallelujah. Somebody shout his spirit. He says, and I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He says, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. Mm. Some of you about to prophesy. Hallelujah. Some of you are about to prophesy. Hallelujah. Some of you are about to prophesy. Glory to God. This is why God is restoring you. Hallelujah. Some of you, hey, and I must say, okay, I hear your Holy Ghost. The Lord says some of you are about to prophesy. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You about to prophesy. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, Sister Tayola. Amen. She said, my apostle passed away 12 years ago. And it's not until now that the Lord has brought me to you, Apostle Haywood, and your ministry. Look at God. Look at God. Hallelujah. He always meets our need. Amen. Because he knows where he desires to take us. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I've been restored. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I've been redeemed. Hey, hallelujah. Somebody shout, no more bondage. Woo. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Linda said, I had a dream about this. Come on. Woo. Somebody shout, I had a dream. Hallelujah about this. Hallelujah. Listen, ha, ah, glory to God. We can't make this stuff up. Come on. She said, I had a prophetic dream last night. <laughs> hallelujah. Look at God. He always confirms his word. And sometimes things that you see, you might see again. Amen. Glory to God. We thank God today. Hallelujah. Some of you, the Lord says, look for the double. Amen. Those of you that even sold tonight, look for the double. Amen. This is also a time of harvest. Some of you, I received your testimonies and they are literally mind blowing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It actually started... Uh, when God said, he said, tell the, he said, tell my people, when I told you all, those of you that are connected to the ministry, he said, tell my people, this is harvest time. The seeds that they have sown, they're now going to reap. About two days later, um, one of the women of God who's connected to the ministry, she, it, she emailed me her testimony and she literally got money from her job that she was not expecting. This was not a raise. This was just something that they gave her called a bonus, <laughs> you know? So it's not like it was something that, you know, everybody else had received before or, you know, it was something, you know, that the job knew about, you know, um, employees knew about. She got a bonus. She literally got a bonus. And they said, we've been watching your um, work history. We've been watching you. Amen. And they blessed her with over $10,000. And that was just a bonus. Glory to God. And then right afterwards, she received a raise, a promotion, you know. And what she said to me, she said, she said, Apostle, I'm going to use that to relocate to North Carolina. I said, you know what? To God be the glory. Hallelujah. It's something about that $10,000, y'all. Ah, I think that's prophetic. That's why I always share that testimony because God told me before I moved here, he said, save up $10,000. I was like, okay. I didn't know where it was going to come from, but God gave it to me and he used my clients. He used my hair clients to give it to me. Yep. I just saved all the tips up. When I got the 10,000, I said, okay, God, we here now. <laughs> I said, what you want me to do, Lord? <laughs> It's something about that 10,000 minutes of time. I don't know what it is. Hallelujah. Hey, mm. Hallelujah. God says some of you get ready for that $10,000 release. Woo. The Lord says some of you is going to be in grants. I hear your Holy Ghost. Mm. 
Glory to God. He says, some of you, hallelujah, somebody's going to write a check and bless you. Mm. Hallelujah. God says, some of you, hallelujah, your business is about to be blessed. I see 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Mm. Glory to God. 10,000. Mm. Hallelujah. God's going to meet the need. Ooh, he's going to meet the need. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Amen. That $10,000 blessing to reach your hands. Come on, reach your hands. Come on, lift your hands high. Tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. I prophesy for that $10,000 as God has did it for me. Hallelujah, that he will do it for you. Amen. I prophesy even greater than $10,000. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He says, ah, mm. he says, speak greater than the $10,000. Glory to God. So I prophesy greater than the $10,000. Amen, that God will bless you. Mm. Over and over and over again. Hallelujah. With that 10,000 and greater in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. You all have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Glory to God. I do want to say this as we exit. I'm asking all 20 people to stay on. Glory to God. I'm asking all 20 people to stay on just for a minute. All right. Listen, our fresh fire 10 revival. Mm. I'm so excited. Did y'all hear me? Fresh fire 10. Here's another 10. Uh-oh. <laughs> God's going to do something by August. <laughs> Woo, God's going to do something by August. Listen, let me get it out. Let me get it out. Fresh fire 10 revival. I'm excited, y'all. I really feel like shouting. I really do. <sighs> I'm going to save it for Sunday. <laughs> Woo, I'm going to save it for Sunday. All right. Fresh fire 10 revival. Somebody can... Uh, post the information. Registration is now open. All right. Registration is now. It's something about that 10. Y'all going to see increments of 10. Y'all going to see increments of 10. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The woman of God says, is everybody accounted for for the seed of 42 and 10? Is there anybody else that did not sow or you're not able to sow? Can you post it now to say, I wanted to sow, but I couldn't sow? Amen. So the woman of God can plant your seed tonight, today rather. Amen. Glory to God. All right. All right. Is there anybody else that wanted to sow the 42 and 10, but you didn't have it? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for increase. We thank God for abundance. Amen. All right. So the Fresh Fire 10 revival, somebody's probably posting it. Registration is now open. Amen. Um, okay, Sister Linda says, what should I do? Well, the seed amount is $42.10, and that's for complete restoration and for double. Amen. According to Job, hallelujah. Job chapter 42 and 10. Amen. Yes, yes. Sister Melissa says, I don't have it. Okay. All right. Can you? Okay. Haven't sown yet, but I will. Okay, Sister Sean, she's going to get her seed in the ground. Can somebody sow for Sister Melissa? Amen. And God bless you, Sister Melissa. Amen. God's going to do it for you. Amen. The Lord's going to do it for you. Amen, Sister Lenoa. All right. Internet slowing down. Okay. It's all right. Listen, let me just get this out. Fresh Fire Tim Revival. I want to see you all there. I want to see you all there, especially on that Sunday. Because that Sunday, thank you, Sister Tashina. She's going to sew for you, Sister Melissa. Um, that Sunday is my apostolic affirmation. And that's at 2 p.m. All right, so if you got to drive 10 hours, seven hours, if you can only make that Sunday, my apostolic affirmation, let me know. All right, let us know. Send an email to uh, PIPWMinistry2 at gmail.com saying, you know, Apostle, I will be at your apostolic affirmation. Let us know. All right, let us know. Amen. The, the viewers are dropping, but it's okay. Just stay with me for a minute, you all. Registration is only $60. That's it. $60 covers your admission into the conference Friday at 7.30. Mm -hmm. Then we also have Saturday at 5 p.m. We have a guest speaker. Thank you, Minister Hattie. Amen. And then Sunday is the closing service. My apostle is going to be with us. Um, he's going to be with us the entire weekend. Amen. Um, Tayola says, what is the seed amount? It is $42.10. All right. For Job 42 and 10. Amen. For God to break the captivity, the bondage off of your life and restore you in Jesus name. Amen. So we have three powerful days of apostolic power and anointing. You don't want to miss it. All right. Our guest speaker will be speaking that Saturday at 5 p.m. 
We are still confirming everything. We also have a prophetic dancer, amen, that we are actually still confirming, all right? A powerful, anointed prophetic um, dancer, amen, praise dancer. Um, prayerfully, she can do all three days. If not, amen, one or two days, um, she'll be ministering and dance. You don't want to miss that, amen. It's going to be awesome. Yes, you can cash app um, Sister Lenoa. Amen. Um, the information should be pinned down there. Cash app is PIPW uh, Ministry. Make sure that it's a pink flyer um, for the cash app because there is another ministry that is similar to ours. Okay. So make sure when you sow, it's a pink flyer. All right. Because some of you have been sowing in the wrong ministry. But get your registration in. All right. Get your registration in. Sow your seed of $60. When you sow, give your first and last name. For your registration and just say fresh fire 10 revival with your first and last name and your t-shirt size all right that is very important your t-shirt size all right we always order the shirts and ahead of time amen um so that you all can have your t-shirts for that saturday we always wear our t-shirts saturday at five o'clock all right so that everybody is in unison it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be awesome in god okay amen um also our ministry products, we have a new website. Go to the website and view the website. It's beautiful. We just got a few finishing touches, all right? So I do need a graphic designer to help me. Um, if you could, if you can tag somebody's name that's a graphic designer, um, just to finish these last touches because the one who did our, our um, website, um, he's no longer able to um, do the last finished touches for us. So we do need a graphic designer just to finish the last few touches, but the website is beautiful. Um, and so you can purchase your products. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You can purchase your products on our website. Uh, we do have beautiful prayer journals. Here's our fresh fire journal here. You can use this for your prayers. Listen, you can write down your notes. Amen. Um, in this beautiful journal, this is our, our ministry journal, prayer journal. It says fresh fire revival where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry, all right? So this is a personalized journal here, all right? This is our Fresh Fire one. Then we have, amen, our other prayer journal. And this was our very first prayer journal. We still have it, okay? Beautiful, right? Love the colors, right? And we have a ministry pen to go with this one. All right, here's the ministry pen that goes with this one here. It has the same design on it, all right? You'll get a ministry pen, and you'll also get a bottle of Blessed Anointed Oil, for the bundle package, all right? This is the bundle package here, all right? The small bottle of Blessed Anointed Oil, your prayer journal, and the pen, all right? You get all three, only for $30, all right? We have not increased the price. The ministry doesn't make any profit off of this, all right? Because it costs us, but we give it, pretty much give it to you when you purchase it for $30, amen? We don't, we don't make no profit off of the bundle package, and the Lord has not told me to increase the price either, so... But if you get the prayer journal, the prayer journal is $12 by itself. The ministry pen is $6 by itself. All right. Okay. And the blessed anointed oil is $20 by itself. All right. So that's a good deal, right? When you get the bundle package. Okay. We also have, um, and also too, it's the same thing with our fresh fire. You just got to let me know. You just got to say, apostle, I want the fresh fire. And it comes with a fresh fire pen. Can you all see that? <laughs> with our prayer line number, okay? Just wanna put that on there, all right? And the ministry, okay? So it comes with that and this, all right? And this is the bundle package for the Fresh Fire. All right, see how beautiful that is? And they also make great gifts too. You know, if you have a birthday coming up for somebody and you don't know what gift to get them, get them a bundle package. All right, from the ministry. And you can go to the website. You will see the bundle packages there. Once again, the prayer journal is $12 by itself. The ministry pen is $6, all right? All proceeds go to our ministry, amen? You all keep our building here in Raleigh, North Carolina, amen? You keep a place for the saints to come and worship. So thank you all for your support, amen? I do have a personal cash app. Many people ask me, they say, Prophetess, what is your cash app? I don't never give my cash app out unless you inbox me individually, all right, but I don't never give my cash app out when I'm ministering to God's people. Um, amen. But I do have a personal cash app. Amen. But if you desire to bless my life personally, you can inbox me. Okay. But I never give my personal cash app um, over our, our broadcasts. Never. Mm -mm. But for those of you that want to be a blessing, if you do, if you ever want to be a blessing, 
Amen. Um, you can inbox me and I'll give you my personal cash app. All right. We thank God today, amen, for the moving of his spirit. It's Freedom Friday, all right? You always see me on every Friday between this time. I'll be coming on. Yes, this is YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all right? God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Get your registration in. Children registration is $25, all right? And that's really for the seat. Okay, we don't have the children pay the $60, but it is $25 because some people bring multiple children to the conference. So it is $25 per child. Um, and we will put that on our website as well so that you can purchase the child ticket for the revival. All right. But God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Listen, I want to see you all in church. I want to see you all this Sunday in church. All right. I want to see you all in church. So come on out and visit with us. It's 3670. Um, Baston Lane, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. Once again, our church address is 3670 Baston Lane, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. Amen. The Lord has blessed us with a beautiful edifice. Come on out. All right. Every Sunday at 2 p.m. If you can't make it out, connect with us on Facebook Live. All right. If you can't make it out, connect with us on Instagram Live. Okay. If you can't make it out, tune in to hear the word. Amen. And to fellowship with us. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless you all. Love each and every one of you with the love of Jesus. And remember, hallelujah. I want you all to remember that God has turned our captivity on today into freedom. Hallelujah. And whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Blessings, everyone. Shalom.